just shows how location accounting works in Spire if it's set up. So first of all, when you highlight the company, you'll notice that you have to choose a location to log into as well. So you can have as many locations as you require. And you choose the location, key in your password, and then once you've logged in, you'll see that down the bottom here, it shows that you're working with location VAN. Okay, so the location accounting has been set up in this company. So if we look under edit and company settings, and we go to general ledger, segments, we see we've created a segment called location. And under codes then, we went to the location segment and we added three of them. So we just hit the plus, chose location, put a code in the in description. So we got three of them added. Got that set up. And then under the company and general ledger uh, general here, we set lo that segment we created called location as the location segment. So we named it location in the, in the segment name here. And then we also added that location to the location location. All right, so now uh, if we look at the general ledger, so we'll save and close that. Look at the general ledger, and we've created a three location segments. So we, we basically highlighted the sales general, hit the copy button, added a location behind it. So we added MON, TOR, and VAN to it and saved it. And we did the same thing for cost of goods. So uh, we could also set up all the taxes location if you needed to separate taxes or even inventory, uh, which would probably be what you would do as well. But just, just we just set these two. So now this is sales general. So now if we look at edit company settings again, and we look at sales departments, uh, sales departments, we'll see that the blank one, so zero, we've got th those accounts set up. So we've got 4,100 is set up for sales general. Okay, so we don't have to set a sales department for the other locations at all. So we've got that set. You'll see now we have 41100 and 41100 for each of those. Okay, so uh, note we do not have one set up for each of the locations. So now we'll save that. Okay, so in inventory, got a one item set up with the right department. So this 521 here, it is set up indeed for department uh, zero. So with the 41100. Okay, so now we go to sell it, and we'll go new. Okay, so I'll put a customer on here, and we'll put that that pre-core on here, P-R-E-E, -E, and it was the 521, and we'll ship it, and we'll just take our freight off of here, Got automatic freight. Okay, and I'll just coming to here and so there's the unit price and the costs and you'll notice that on the line I move over the cost of goods account and the revenue account are 41100 as we noted in the sales department and 71100 for the for the cost of goods account so now we're going to invoice this and we'll uh, preview it Invoice as per normal at this point. But when we look at the general ledger entry, so we go to general ledger, transactions, notice that instead of going to 41100, it went to 4100 van and 41100, uh, sorry, 7100 van as well. So same as if we look at it through sales history. And we go to the last invoice we did, which is this one. There it is there. That item and if we look at the transaction same thing there it is so we've redirected it to the correct location simply by signing in to the company using the location as we logged in and that can be restricted by user so that they can only log into that location as well